Hi Mark Savage here, welcome to my channel. Watch my last video, we're working on the BMW R1200GS. Nice bike. Simple service today, what do we need? Shell Advanced Oil, Hiflo Oil Filter, Iridium Plugs, very nice, and a can and air filter, and a quick ride by. Don't missing. Oh yeah, cup of tea. Now BMW in their wisdom decided to make the filler cap awfully difficult. Which is this little gadget here. Now you think after having three of these I would have noticed it but I didn't buy the little gadget so I'm going to use a gold lump of metal. It does work. Placing it simply here. twist round. This is why I started this side in the first place. If I hadn't been able to undo that, there'd be no sense in carrying on, would there? This is why I started this side. If I could undo that, I know I could carry on. If not, I'd have to not do it and wait to buy the part. I'm quickly finish my cup of tea. Down here is your oil filter. You have to take this plate off to get the oil out. Matching the new oil filter. It's my, uh, well, away kit. This one should fit. These don't make it easy. Plugs will be in there somewhere, so lots of Allen key stuff to take off. Another ride by? Okay. Plate off, 13mm, a few cross heads, 8mm for the Allen key socket, and remember an old washing up bowl. Let's wait for the oil to come out. This has been in the air around about 8,000, 7,500 miles. Woo, look at it go. And there we go. That's not a bad colour, you know. I don't know if any of you watched my Ducati video recently. That was really gunky and black oil. But that is good quality oil. Let's all that drain out. Now, remember, before doing an oil change, run the bike. I rode it back from work, so I did a good 10 miles on it, so it's nice and warm. It gets everything out of there. Let all that drain out. Well, that's obviously draining it. Pop that on there. Give that a turn. Look how easy this is with this little gadget. So it wasn't a lot of money on eBay. Now, they do mention about Newton pounds and so on when you tighten these up. I've been doing it for many, 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 many years. Okay, you may pay a hundred pounds to get that properly done, but I'm quite happy doing it if I do it. I roughly know. Hand tight. Nice and warm, <laughs> Now remember when putting the new one on, a little bit of the old oil and pour it around there. Just helps it from sticking when you're tightening it back up again. But we're not going to do that yet. Let all that drain out for a little while and uh, I might start the spark plugs. What's next? Three screws. This comes off. Three more screws. And this comes off. Small screwdriver. Gently leave this out. One plug, two plugs. So although it's a twin, it still has two plugs either side. So, that's easy showing you there, isn't it? Nice and easy, take these out, change the plugs over. Let's get on with the oil, shall we? So the oil is nice for dripping out. We're gonna clean it with a rag and let that drip. But it's simple, put the filter back in, change the washer, put the bung back in, pour the oil in. Couldn't get any simpler than that. So, BMW, in their enlightened wisdom, Put the filler cap this side and the view screen the other side. Okay, it's not the end of the world. I'm just going to put a good three litres in and then check and carry on that way. Anyway, let's get on with it. Plugs went in okay, um, so they're done on both sides. Air filter next. Okay, all back in. Now I am aware that Germans would be saying, Mark, you don't have takes four liters 3.94 exactly don't need the window and i'd say why'd you put the window there and they say for drunk cops like you sorry for the german accent yeah okay so filled it perfect line started the bike all disappears let it run for a little bit turn it off fill up to the line job done remember as i say in all my other videos though after your first long ride double check your oil 
it's got to be done. Screw it back on, plugs done, oil and filter done, just the air filter. Now you do seem to have to take an awful lot of panels off. So passenger seat and the driver seat off, small little pop clip, get your handy star shape out, bolt, bolt, four bolts here, this just slips off, comes to the front, this just comes off here as well, there's always a little wiggle point somewhere, and then you start to see this. That's your air pipe, in there is your air filter, so you have to take a little bit more off, another one of them. Here exposes your air filter, which simply just clips in here, pulls off, clip there. You may use assistance of a screwdriver next time. You just pull out, pull out, little clip there. That's awfully hard, and it should. There you go. It wasn't that bad, really. Can anyone to fit in? All them panels have to come off to get to there. That's mental, isn't it? Actually, there's no panel there, and including the seats. That's a bit mental, isn't it? <laughs> Anyway, there you go. Let's uh, put the new air filter in. Yeah, and then one's a lot smaller. It'll go in though. Very nice. Just put everything back where it was. just simply put everything back the way you found it. Simples. Last top tip, don't do them all up too tight and then go back round and make sure they're not properly. And there you go. So there you go. A simple service, just a back seat to go on. Like, share and subscribe. Save yourself a bit of money. Next video coming up will be the horn and the fog lights, putting them on here. Cheers.